In this workbook, I have sales data on two separate sheets, East Region Sheet and West. I want to make a pivot table from all this data, so I'm going to use one of the newer Excel functions to combine the data. And from that combined data, I can make a pivot table. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. To combine the data, I've added a new sheet to this workbook, and I'm going to put a VStack formula in cell A1. We're only going to need one formula on the sheet. To check and see if you have VStack in your version of Excel, just type equal VS, and you should see it. If not, this solution won't work for you. But if you do see it, you can double click on that, and we're ready to combine multiple arrays or worksheet ranges vertically on this worksheet. So the first array I want is the East list. From this East list, I want the entire table, the headings and the data. So I'll click here, and that has only selected the data. So I'll click again, and now it says All, and then a comma. Now I'll go to the West region, and this time I don't want the headings, so I'll just select it. The headings aren't included, so I'll close the bracket and press Enter. Now on this sheet, we have one formula, and it's combined all the data from the two tables. I'm going to color this cell so that I know it's got a formula in it, and in the cells below you can see the formula, but you can't make any changes there. The next thing I have to do before I can use this as a source for a pivot table is name this range. So I've got cell A1 selected. I'm going to Formulas and Define Name. I'm going to call this Pivot Data, all one word, and in the refers to, all I have to do is put a number sign at the end to make this a spill reference, and click OK, and now we can use that name as the source for the pivot table. I've added another sheet where I can put the pivot table, and I'm going to start by selecting cell A1, go to Insert, Tables, Pivot Table, and in here, it's selected that entire range, but I'm going to press F3 and then select the name I created and click OK. I want it on an existing sheet. Click OK. And there's the blank pivot table. And now I could put the item in, region, the total unit. And it's showing combined data from two different sheets in a pivot table. 